When we designed our house, this room was designed as the train room specifically. The layout is about 13 feet by 27 feet. All power, phone, and internet lines were buried in the floor during construction. The overriding goal for my design was to get as many operating tracks into the layout as possible. I've got six operating tracks and one operating siding. Two other things I wanted in the layout were a mountain, which is on the far end of the layout, and a river. And the river comes down the mountain, and runs down the center of the layout, and out the left side. At the front of the layout is my town, which has no name. Uh, there were several houses on that and businesses. Originally I had a lot of plastic bill buildings on there, and I'm gradually removing those and replacing with more scale buildings. Some of the buildings in town and on the layout are named after family. The building in the center is named Linda's Snack Shop after my wife. And on the left, past the police station, is the Jasper Drugstore. And on the far side of that is Schneider Hardware. At front of the layout is what I call accessory row. These are several American Flyer accessories. One of them is a log loader. It brings up a log off of the stack and places it onto the flat car. The other is a barrel loader that brings out barrels from the stack and puts them into the uh, waiting car. Just on the outside of town is a A&W root beer stand. There's also a uh, today a car show going on across the road from there on this side of the river. And uh, old antique cars are displayed. As we zoom in on the root beer stand, we can see people dining and waiting on their cars to have lunch. We're now looking down the center of the layout. You can see the two railroad bridges in the distance with the river running down the center. In the farms that are on the center layout, you can see farmers disking their ground for the crop this year. Now, since this layout is 13 feet wide, you might wonder how I can get to the center of the layout. All of the sections in the middle with the river on are two feet wide and they're two inch thick builders foam that the river is carved into. Those are removable and store underneath. The two bridges that you see also lift straight out and store underneath the layout. This side of it is actually a bridge and this just simply raises up and then uh, provides access at a lock up and provide access to walk down through the, the layout. You can see on the the two inch foam on the other end with the river coming out the end of that. On the far left of the layout is my yard and that's where normally most of the trains are parked and you can see they're all sitting there now. This is a view of the elevated section of the railway. We have a long train pulled by the Rio Grande SD70 engine. Those are all beer cars. There's about 33 on that train. And then my Y3 comes by, engine number 20, pulling a load of coal cars. We now have six trains running on the layout. 